All right, so we're back out here again doing a little trapping. And so right now we're gonna try to trap some rabbits. So again, when you're rabbit trapping, you gotta trap on sign just like anything else. So when we walk through these brush lines, we got a real defined trail here. It's real narrow, most likely it's rabbit. And if you follow that trail up, a lot of times you can find some rabbit poop. So this time we're gonna be using a paw trap here. And on these paw traps, you want to make sure that you check your your paying tension on these traps okay you don't want any tension on here on that trap so a good way to do that is make sure you bring your pair of pliers and a screwdriver so that way if you need to adjust this like if it's tightened up or maybe you're trapping like foxes or something else before these rabbits you could adjust that paying tension and make sure you don't have any so another thing you could see this trap here it's not painted it's not dyed it's not dipped Nothing, this is just raw trap, raw steel here. Got a little rust on it. So as far as like rabbits, raccoons, uh, skunks, possums, I really don't see the need to have your, your trap all painted and dipped and waxed and all that for these kind of critters here, okay? So in the future, yes, I'm gonna paint this trap here just so it protects the steel and the longevity of the trap. But by the time I put this, I dig this hole and I set this trap in there, those kind of animals ain't gonna see it and the smell that might come off of them, they don't really care about it too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a little bit of a, a hole, a little bowl to set this trap in. But now like with coyotes, where you really gotta make sure this trap is bedded super sed steady or solid so it doesn't teeter at all. Those rabbits don't care so much about that. So I'm gonna set this trap real quick so you guys could see how it looks. So I got this trap set, but now if you look at it, you can see this pan is actually tilted up we want to bring that pan down until it's nice and flat. About right there. So now when you guys look at this trap, it's perfectly flat. That's what you're looking for. You don't want this pan to be sitting up where that animal's got to climb over the pan to get to it. So I got a trapping shovel here and a sifter. You don't have to use a trapping shovel but uh, or trapping hammer, but it's really pretty nice though because I could hammer on this side, I could dig over here, and I got another tool here I could dig with. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this hole out. And these rabbits, a lot of times, when they're coming through these trails, sometimes they hop over this first little section here. So I'm going to go in about a foot or so, and that's where I'm going to put my trap at. So I'm going to clear these leaves out, expose that ground there, and just a little bit. So there's the hard earth there. free that soil up. We're going to grab that dirt. We're going to put it in our sifter. All right, so we got this hole. It's only about an inch deep, maybe about as big as my hand. So now right in the center of it, I'm going to dig a little bit of a hole out. And that's so my stake and my chain has somewhere to sit. I can even take the back of this hammer here, get that hole started there, push down and use it like an auger and dig a little bit of a hole. So I got a real short chain here. I got a spring on it. You don't really need that for the rabbits, but like if you're trapping fox, those, those are gonna be nice. I'm gonna add that stake there. I'm gonna go right in the center of that deep hole there. We're just gonna hammer that down. So now that little hole that we dug, in the center of that, your chain's gonna sit down in there. You gotta go a little bit deeper, that chain's still hitting there. All right. So here's another thing you guys could do. So you could buy like the the covers for your trap pan there so the dirt doesn't get underneath of it. Or you could use like polyfill. Another thing you could do, this is the one inch thick uh, pipe insulation. Comes in a big roll, about three inches wide. But you could cut this for about, whatever that is, a three by two and a half, three by three. But you could take this and put it underneath your pan so that way nothing gets underneath your pan there.
So we're gonna take some of that dirt that we had, and that's about where we want it. We're gonna add a little dirt underneath of this thing. And that's just to keep it from rocking a little bit. We ain't gotta go crazy with this on rabbits here. We're gonna put a little bit around the, the ears of the trap and right around the edges here. So next thing we want to do is I got some peat moss in my bucket. We're going to toss a little peat moss in here. And that's the nice thing with this sifter. It's going to take out these little branches. You got a branch in there when your trap goes off, you might lose your animal. So we'll sift over a little peat moss. Now we kind of widened our trail a little bit. So we don't want to get no sticks in that trap there, but we're going to bring this cover back over this trail here. Kind of make a funnel way more natural the way it was before. Make sure those big sticks don't get in there. We don't want that. All right, and that traps there is done. That's a big bunny.